We had a very successful cabinet meeting this morning. We were talking about our anti-corruption summit. We've got the Nigerians. The, we've actually got some leaders of some fantastically corrupt countries coming to Britain. No, Nigeria and Afghanistan, possibly the two most corrupt countries in the world. Social media was up in arms on Tuesday after British Prime Minister David Cameron was caught on camera speaking candidly to Queen Elizabeth about the upcoming anti-corruption summit in London this week. Nothing too out of the ordinary, right? Nigerians, the, we've actually got some leaders of some fantastically corrupt countries coming to Britain. No, Nigeria and Afghanistan, possibly the two most corrupt countries in the world. Some have attacked Prime Minister Cameron for admitting just last month that he has personally profited from offshore tax havens after he was linked to the Panama Papers scandal. And I'm not sure if the Prime Minister forgot the cameras were rolling, but I wanted to know, are Nigeria and Afghanistan the most corrupt countries in the world? According to Transparency International, which is a global coalition against corruption, North Korea and Somalia are tied in first place as the most corrupt countries. Afghanistan comes in second, and Nigeria doesn't even make the top 10 list. So how exactly is corruption measured? Transparency International states that the Corruption Perception Index measures the perceived levels of public sector corruption worldwide, based on expert opinion. As you can see, the dark red indicates highly corrupt public sector, and the yellow indicates a less corrupt, or rather cleaner, public sector. No country is without corruption, of course, and half of the G20 are among those with the most serious corruption problems. When President Buhari was asked in London if Nigeria was fantastically corrupt, he said yes. No, I, I'm not going to demand any apology from anybody. <laughs> what I'm demanding is the return of assets. <laughs> Britain has become a safe haven for criminal smuggling assets out of Nigeria. And London has been recognized internationally as a tax haven city by the IMF. Transparency International has said that Britain is among one of the world's biggest corruption hubs and has accepted dodgy money from poor states, which have benefited its banks, stores, and estate markets for decades. President Buhari ran his 2015 presidential campaign promising to tackle corruption in Nigeria, but many have criticized the president for not doing much on corruption since his inauguration in May. Since President Buhari took office, former National Security Advisor Sambo Dasuki's corruption trial has begun, and he has been accused of diverting two billion dollars meant to fight Boko Haram during the Jonathan administration. The president has also tried to clean out the Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation after it was revealed that $20 billion of oil revenue was missing in 2014. The Socioeconomic Rights and Accountability Project has called on British authorities to extradite former Petroleum Minister Dazani Alison Madueke to face increasingly alleged corruption charges in Nigeria because the charges she currently faces in the UK do not sufficiently capture the gravity of her alleged charges. Senate President Sarah Key is still facing corruption charges as well. But despite the numerous financial investigations and trials aimed to fight corruption, many are not so convinced that there will be any convictions due to a host of obstacles, such as the accusations of judges that are being bribed and poorly prepared prosecution cases, which have led some to believe that many extortioners will be set free. Do you think Nigeria is doing enough to fight corruption? Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching The Break. I'm your host, Gabrielle Harris, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this video for more updates.